Carter Pierce is among the about a dozen students floating around the gym at SAS Polytech. He's a part of a first-year mechanical engineering technology class where students have spent about a month building the low-friction floating discs. They had to procure the materials, plywood and polystyrene foam, then design and construct them within set restrictions. It is interesting. I, like, we were kind of skeptical about how it would work. We weren't sure, and we messed around with how much um, holes were in the inside. There were four groups with varying sizes and techniques. So how do they work? The instructor explains. The leaf blower essentially creates a pocket or cavity underneath the, the structure. So um, it inflates and then it's an air cushion that gets pushed out underneath that apron or out, outside of that apron and provides the, the low friction environment for it to glide. This was the first time the school has used this project in a class and this week they were put to the test. Timing gates lined up along their path detected which were fastest down the lane. Students learned that depending on the size and build, some excelled down the ramp with more speed. Others were better for hovering when someone sat on top. It was probably the best one to ride. As soon as you're on it, you just felt, you felt weightless and you didn't really have control. So you just kind of had someone there carrying you along, but it was, uh, it, was, it was definitely fun to ride. The hovercrafts won't likely translate into a practical day-to-day -day use but they give the students the hands-on experience the school is hoping to bring in earlier in their education. In this case, that's with building, buying, and the chance for boasting if they come out on top. We had actually not much idea who's to do better. <laughs> so there's kind of the tension at the start of whose who's group is going to do better. Dane Patterson, CBC News, Saskatoon.